Some of these roads require a lot of time looking at a map beforehand. Others, you'll need to be a professional driver. With the rest, well, stay tuned to find out. Here's some of the craziest roads humankind has ever paved. Hey everybody, I'm Wacky Universe bringing you another video today on Taltanic. 20. Nanpu Bridge Interchange You'll find the bridge this interchange is connected to in Shanghai, China, one of the main bridges in the city. This cable-stayed bridge spans at a length of 1,388 feet. It was built as a sister bridge to Yangpu Bridge and measures shorter than it as well. In comparison to the world, the Nanpu Bridge Interchange comes up as the 57th longest cable-stayed bridge in the world. But for the more impressive feat, we look to the design of this road, featuring two lanes of traffic swirling around in a circle. Stay keen on this road because, if not, you will surely get off on the wrong exit. And to correct yourself, you need to go back around the bridge and then find the right exit, only coming from the opposite way this time. 19. Paso de los Stelvio Also known as Stelvio Pass, this mountain road that runs through the eastern Alps of northern Italy looks like one big zigzag of a path to maneuver through. Constructed at an elevation of 9,045 feet, it brings Stelvio Pass up to be the highest mountain pass in the region and an interesting one to look at in an aerial view at that. It sits between Stelvio in South Tyrol and Bormio in Sondrio. As an annual event at the end of summer, the Stelvio National Park Administration celebrates Stelvio Bike Day, wherein some of the roads get close to traffic, aside from bike riders. Every year, an estimated 12,000 cyclists participate. 18. Shibuya Crossing Dubbed the Times Square in the east, except much more confusing to Westerners in general, Shibuya Crossing may include a traffic of over 1,000 people during peak times. The amount of people walking through here all the time probably has a lot to do with the Shibuya Ward being a major commercial and business center. What you see before you would be considered a scramble crossing. Huge TV screens and neon signs light the roads, and it probably comes as no surprise that the Starbucks located here counts as one of the busiest Starbucks in the world. 17. Baldwin Street To find the steepest residential street in the world, you'd need to travel down to Dunedin, New Zealand. The street measures at a length of 1,150 feet or 350 meters, with the slope being 1 to 2.86. Participants sign themselves to take part in the Baldwin Street Gutbuster every year. To complete this event, you have to run up the base of the street to the top and then back down again. Sounds simple, but on the steepest road ever? 16. Confederation Bridge From Prince Edward Island to New Brunswick on Canada's mainland, you need to cross Confederation Bridge, an 8-mile or 12.9-kilometer bridge that cost $1.3 billion to develop. It consists of a two-lane toll, all on a balanced cantilever. Cars get to go only about 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. People have wanted some sort of link through the Northumberland Strait since the 19th century, though the modern bridge you see before you was not built and opened until 1997. 15. Taganskaya Square Many roads run in and out of Taganskaya Square, located in the capital city of Russia. Moscow has the largest population of one of the biggest countries in the world. So, naturally, its main square sees lots of traffic on a daily basis. Located in the city's southeastern corner known as the Garden Ring, Taganskaya or Taganka Square combined the two squares of Lower and Upper Taganka in 1963 to make the major one that exists now. Here, one can also see two popular landmarks, Tagan Cathedral and St. Nicholas Church on Bolvanovka. 14. Ebenezer Place You might get an image of the Christmas Carol, but this place really doesn't have much to do with it, despite the name. Welcome to Ebenezer Place. And if you think you're looking at a building more than you're looking at a road, you wouldn't be wrong. Ebenezer Place measures out to be the shortest street in the world, only coming up to 6 feet 9 inches, or 2.6 meters long. The only address found on this street belongs to the entrance to Number 1 Bistro, part of the McKay's Hotel. The hotel was built in the 1880s. 13. The Arc de Triomphe 
No, not the actual arc itself. You clearly can't drive on that thing. Well, you could try, but you shouldn't. Instead, we mean the surrounding roads. That huge roundabout that goes in all sorts of directions that could make for an easily confusing point in a busy city. If you don't know exactly where you're going, you risk getting off on the wrong opening, which goes for any roundabout, but makes it much more difficult when there's a handful of directions to go in. The arc was built in 1836 and would later be completed with 12 radiating avenues. News. 12. Leipzig Hell Airport Bridge. How comfortable would you be driving your car along an overpass? Sounds normal, right? Well, what about if there is a huge commercial plane taking off right next to you? Sounds less normal, but drivers experience this often on these bridges called taxiways located outside the Leipzig Hell Airport in Germany. 11. Hana Highway. You'd think Hawaii would just be full of relaxing places to enjoy nature and culture. And while that's true, you should also be wary of the popular Hana Highway. Along this stretch of road, motorists get to see some fantastic views of the Hawaiian landscape. But you also need to be really careful, since these don't exactly count as the safest, foolproof roads ever. The highway includes 54 mostly one-way bridges and about 600 curves which span around 52 miles. You need to travel rather slowly on the Hana Highway, not just for your safety, but also for you to take in the scenery. 10. Air Highway While Air Highway may be the longest straight road in Australia, it comes with its share of dangers. So, how can a literally straightforward road be dangerous? Well, for one, this highway reaches a length of 1,034 miles or 1,664 kilometers, and anything that big can hold a whole lot of stuff. It can be over 100 miles or kilometers away between different points of civilization, so for the most part, you'd be alone. Amongst the longest straight roads in the world, Air Highway links South Australia through the Null Arbor Plain to Western Australia. The Milau Viaduct. Over the River Tarn in France, English architect Sir Norman Foster, along with Michel Vrilogou, designed the Milau Viaduct. This cable state bridge made of concrete and steel carves an interesting pattern along this piece of countryside in southern France, located along the Gorge Valley near the Millau Commune. Listed as the 22nd highest bridge deck in the world, it measures at 890 feet or 270 meters between the road deck and the ground. It runs about 8,070 feet or 2,460 meters long. 8. Youngest Road Sometimes called Groves Road, Road of Fate, or Cororico Road, Youngest Road starts in La Paz and leads the path to Cororico in the youngest region of Bolivia. As you can already see, many warn of the dangerousness of the North Youngest Road. Vehicles fall often from the edge, and the first part of the road ascends to a rise of 15,260 feet or 4,650 meters over La Cumbre Pass. With as close as the road gets to a long drop on the side, it also lacks lots of guardrails, with the most of the width only room enough for one car. 7. Birmingham Spaghetti Junction You use the phrase Spaghetti Junction in reference to any complicated interchange of roads, but the first official Spaghetti Junction can be found in Birmingham, England, officially called Gravelly Hill Interchange, though most people refer to it as the Spaghetti Junction. Along the M6 motorway, this intertwining meeting of roads opened for use in 1972, a few years after the phrase Spaghetti Junction had even been coined. 6. The Magic Roundabout No, you didn't hear wrong. People call this huge roundabout in Swindon, England, the Magic Roundabout. This counterclockwise roundabout includes five mini roundabouts surrounding a sixth central one. Construction was completed in 1972, located near the country ground. It's actually named after a popular children's television series named The Magic Roundabout, which aired back during the 1960s and 1970s. 5. Lombard Street One of San Francisco's most famous landmarks can be found connecting the Presidio to the Embarcadero. The steep, zigging, and zagging road in this photo is Lombard Street, running east to west. It only goes for one block, named the crookedest street in the world. It runs along the east portion of the neighborhood of Russian Hill. The street has a natural grade of 27%, and to make it accessible to vehicles, the road was made into a zigzag pattern. 4. Sagamihara Highway Tunnel Interchange Near the city in the Kanagawa Prefecture known as Sagamihara, 
drivers must go through this highway tunnel interchange, a course that looks incredibly intricate from an aerial view. You might not see it at first glance, but look closely. This interchange connects both above-ground roads as well as subterranean tunnels through a conglomeration of bends and interconnecting passageways. 3. Guoliang Tunnel Back in the 1970s, a bunch of villagers living in the remote village of Guoliang, China, took it upon themselves to make the rest of the world accessible and carved a road in the side of the Taihang Mountains in the Henan province of China. Since they lacked access to power tools, the villagers used instruments such as chisels and hammers. By 1977, the tunnel would open to traffic. You can see the tunnel road on the side of the cliffs, which has turned into a popular area for tourists. 2. Capulin Volcano Road Over an area of 793 acres, the Capulin Volcano National Monument rises to an elevation of 8,182 feet, or 2,494 meters. The paved road accompanying the volcano spans over two miles. Since the top of the road reaches such a high place, drivers are warned to be extra prepared for the driving conditions, including storms. The volcano only dates back to 58,000 to 62,000 years ago. 1. Trollstigen Through the Rama municipality of Norway is a mountain road that slinks side to side like a snake, with a steep incline of 10%. It consists of about 11 bends known as hairpins for their slenderness and sudden curves. Called Trollstigen, translating to English as Troll's Path, this road gets over 2,400 vehicles every day at the peak of its tourist season. It opened in 1936, taking eight years for construction to be completed. It rises to an elevation that measures 2,790 feet or 850 meters. Hey guys, don't forget to check out my channel, Wacky Universe, on your way out, and I'll see you next week.